Today we are going to study about the cathode ray oscilloscope. In short, it is called a CAO. It's an important device in physics to study about the waveforms. So the, there are some components available in the CAO. Now we are going to study about the components. So the components are filament, cathode, grade, focusing anode, accelerating anode, Y plates, X plates, and the screen. Then the screen is already coated with the conducting graphite. So it will be have a smooth conduction for the electron. So first of all, we will apply the voltage between the cathode and accelerating anode. That is called applied voltage. So the applied voltage, let us consider as V volt. It should be always a capital V. <coughs> so the voltage will be applied between the cathode and the accelerating anode. The next one is, once the voltage is applied, the filament started to emit electrons and the electrons start to move from the grid to the screen. The, the bright spot available on the screen. When you apply the, vo apply the voltage in the plate voltage, there is another voltage available, plate voltage. So V1 is called plate voltage. When the applied voltage is V and the plate voltage is V1, once the plate got the voltage, immediately we can change the voltage into X plate also. Once the V inserted the socket to the Y plate, so the beam will start to move in the vertical direction. So this is called deflection, up and down. Similarly, if we change the socket into Y plate, so the beam, the bright spot will start to move in the horizontal direction. So now we are going to calculate first the velocity of electrons entering the electric field between the wave plates. Once the voltage is applied in cathode and accelerating anode, there will be an electric field which is called E. E is the electric field, will be created in the plate. Now we are going to calculate the velocity of the electrons. So now electrons are moving. So the electron is having a charge that is E is the charge of the electron which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 90 electron volts. The electron is also having a mass. The mass of the electron is 9.1 times 10 to the power negative 31 kilogram. Let V be the small v. We should not confuse V, V1 and symbol v. small v. So v is the velocity of an electron. This is a sign for the electron. So when they are moving with the velocity v, so it may have an energy. So there will be two types of energy. One will be kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is of mv square as per the Newtonian mechanics will be equal to the same energy will be equal to the energy created by the electric field. So by the applied voltage. So we know the charge of the electron E and V is the applied voltage. So this will be of mv square equal to Ev. Now we can calculate the value of V, v square. So 2 E, v will be equal to m v square and v square will be equal to 2 e v over m therefore v equal small v velocity square root of 2 e v over m so this is the formula for the velocity of an electron entering the electric field between the y plate and the next one is calculate the deflection y, this one, this deflection of electrons on the screen and also y sensitivity. Y sensitivity is nothing. Once we calculated this value, just y sensitivity is this v1 over y. So this is the first part.
Now we are going to calculate the deflection of electrons. So I draw the schematic representation of the path of the electron. So in this diagram, this is the white plate and this is the screen. So the distance between the white plate and the screen is x and the plate separation is d and also the length of the plate is l and v is the vertical velocity and v is the horizontal component I put only v because there won't be any change of the velocity of the electron in the x-axis the change will be only in the uh, uh, vertical direction so we have to write what is x distance between plate and screen L is the length of plates. There are two plates here and here. So D is the plate separation, distance between the two plates that we are called as plate separation. Then This cut that we, we already know that the voltage applied between cathode and the acceleration accelerating anode. So that is V small v equal to velocity of an electron we know that already we calculated v is equal to square root of 2 ev over m m is the mass of the electron we know that 9.1 into 10 to the power negative 31 kilograms then V1 is the voltage applied on the plates, that means plate voltage. There will be small knob available to adjust this voltage. According to the adjustment, the spot will move up and down. So that is plate voltage. So now we can calculate the acceleration of an electron. Because there is a velocity, so velocity, if the velocity is there, we can find the acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. So, acceleration of an electron. We can use the Newton's equation of motion to find the acceleration of an electron. So, We know that F equal to E E because when the when the electric field is applied to a charge to an electron, immediately the, there will be a force will be created in the electrons for during the moment. And also, if the electrons are having a mass, so Newton's law still F equal to m a. We can equate these two equations. So E E will be equal to M A. Therefore, A will be equal to E E over M. This is the acceleration of the electron. Now we have to calculate the vertical component V Y. So the vertical component Vy. This also we can use the Newton's equation of motion. So Vy will be equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times the time taken. So we know the initial velocity will be equal to zero of an electron. Start from the rest plus a equal e e 
over m times t. Before that, we have to calculate the t. So, I didn't calculate. Now, we can calculate the t. Because the electrons will travel from here in the, within the area of the plate. It will travel from here to here with the velocity of v. The distance is, velocity is the rate of change of displacement. The displacement is L. Time taken is T. T is the time taken by electron to travel between the, inside the plate. From the, under the electric field E. So T is equal to L over V. Now we can substitute here. Vy is equal to E E over M. Instead of time, we can put L over V. So this is the vertical component. And the next one is we have to calculate the displacement of the electrons. For example, the deflected electron has a displacement Vp. Displacement. Of an electron. But also we can use the Newtonian mechanics. Vp will be equal to Vi delta t plus of a delta t square. Vi is the initial velocity. We know that the electron start from the left, it will be zero. 1 over 2 a e over m and t we already calculated here so t square will be equal to l square over v square so that is the value of bp now we can take the value of tan theta so there will be two tan theta will be here from this equation we can take a tan theta for example This is the horizontal velocity Vx, but horizontal velocity is equal to the same velocity of the electron. And this is the Vy. So this is the deflection of the electron, theta. So here, if we take tan theta, tan theta will be equal to, this is the vertical component, Vy over V. So we already know what is V, v Vy, vertical component. E, oh sorry, we have to use this one because we didn't substitute the value of t here. Here we substitute the value of t, so we can use this one. E, L over M, V. And there is again another V there. So V times V, it will become V square. Or I can say, for better understanding, times 1 over V, which is equal to E, L over m p square so this is tan theta now we have to find the value of ob so here if we take a tan theta in the triangle obp if we take a tan theta tan theta will be equal to ob over dp our idea is to find the value of ob because still we do not know OB. OB is actually L by 2. You can see also here. So, because this total is L. So, what is OB? OB is equal to DP times tan theta. So, DP, the value is 1 over 2 E, e over M. L square V square times tan data so the OB is equal to BP by tan data so BP equal 1 over 2 E E M L square or V square and the tan data is equal to E E L 
22 is equal to sorry this quantity will be equal to BP over OB so OB will be equal to BP over 10 data. So what is BP? 1 over 2 E E M L square V square over this 10 data E E L over M V square. If you do everything correct, we can see exactly it is L over 2. So this E, E get cancelled fully. This M, V square will get cancelled fully. This L and this L cancel. So we got the value of O, B is equal to just L over 2. The total distance divided by 2. So O, B is equal to L over 2. Now, our aim is to calculate the value of O, E. So, triangle OCD is similar to triangle OBP. So, we can apply the concept of similar triangles. We know OB by BP. OB by BP will be equal to OC over CD. OB we already know that it is L over 2. L by 2. BP. We already calculated BP. This is a BP. One over two E E over M L square V square will be equal to O C. O C is nothing other than the distance between the plate and the screen. X over C D is the thing that we are going to calculate the diffraction point. So now we have to simplify. Anything can be calculated uh, cancel here. So this L and this L can be can can cancelled. And there's a 2 in the denominator. Here 2 in the denominator will get cancelled. That's all. Then the, I write the rewrite the equation and from that equation I will find the value of y. Now the me square denominator completely will go to the, uh, from the denominator it will go to the numerator side. It will be m v square over e e l will be equal to x over y. So we can calculate the value of y. Y is equal to e e l x. over mv square but we know that e is equal to v1 over b that is a concept the field is equal to plate voltage divided by the plate separation so when you sub substitute e is equal to v1 over d the value of y will change O equal x e l I will make it like this x e l instead of e I will put the value v1 over d that is for e everything is here x e l instead of e I put v1 over d over m v square so in this case, we can say x e l 
V1 over this square came there. So it will be M V square B. This is Y. So now we can understand that it is directly proportional to V1. V1 is the plate voltage. Now this is the deflection of the electron. So V is equal to X E L V1 over M V square D. Now this one is the Y sensitivity of an electron is nothing other than just V1 over Y. So V1 over O it will be equal to MV square D from this equation will be over X E L. So this is the Y sensitivity of an electron. V1 over Y will be equal to MV square over D. So I explain all the step, all the parts, acceleration of an electron, vertical component, after that, displacement of an electron by using Newtonian mechanics. And as, after that, I applied the similar triangle concept. And finally, I got the deflection of electron Y equal X E L V1 over M V square D. And voltage send me wave sensitivity of an electron, which is equal to V1 or V1 over Y equal M V square D over X E L. X is the plate, the distance between the plate and the screen. E is the charge of the electron, 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 electron volts. L is the distance of the plate, L. And V1 is the applied voltage on the, between the void plates. And M is the mass of the electron, 9.1 into 10 to the power negative 31 kilogram. Velocity, already we have calculated, velocity is equal to square root of 2 E V over M. Then similarly here, the same thing. X is the distance between the plate and the screen. E is the charge of the electron. L is the length of the plate. V1 is the plate voltage. Applied plate voltage and this plate voltage and this one is mass of the electron. V is the velocity of an electron. D is the distance between the plates, plate separation. So this is the way that we can calculate the deflection of electrons and the voice sensitivity of an electron. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoy my video.